welcome welcome everybody welcome to the most number one video you will ever see ever period today I want to talk about the web TV viewer and how to uh, use the hackers edition so um, you know people ask me over over the years you know hey I'm getting this error how do I do this or how do I connect or this that that and this so um, I recently updated the hackers edition and um, I figured this would be a perfect time to make a quick video on just the viewer and how to do a few things with it and then that way uh, if people email me I can just send them a link a link to the video all right so first thing you want to do download the web TV viewer hackers edition um, I'll put a link in the description below after you download it you want to extract it somewhere so put it uh, create a folder somewhere on your computer wherever the hell you want it and you're gonna open up the hackers edition zip file and just extract everything in there um, next thing we want to do because it's cool it's a special super special bonus I found a uh, old program that I made I think around I don't know 2000 something uh, early 2000s anyways um, this was the uh, original program that I wrote just to launch the viewer so um, you didn't have to go into like folders to launch it I also added the um, the uh, registry uh, editor that would uh, reset the viewer back to um, uh, default settings and you know clear out all the cached URLs and everything um, now I had used a version of this um, with Emacs uh, emulator that he created but his emulator is pretty much defunct now that we have um, many servers so um, I thought it would be cool and nostalgic to, to bring this back anyways um, I'll leave a link if you want to use this you don't have to but if you want to use it uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for this as well so after you download this you can just uh, open up the zip and extract it in the same spot that you extracted the uh, the viewer and there we go and then um, so you can make a shortcut to that and put it on your desktop, which uh, did I already do? Let me, uh, let me just do it anyways. Okay. Um, yeah. So you got a shortcut, then you can just close that. Okay. So we open it up, and basically, like I said, all this does is let you launch the uh, Viewer 1.0. 2.5 you can open up the directory where the viewer is installed uh, you can reset the viewer back to stock which is uh, what I want to do right now so you click that um, if you have this ticked the sound um, that will uh, enable sound in the uh, viewer 1.0 uh, and then you just click this button that resets uh, the, the viewer so let's reset that close it and so now the viewer should be completely stock um, if we open it up it should be like if you ever use the original viewer you would get like this registration thing um, I changed that so now when you open it up it, it you know it tells you that you should if you want to auto connect you should probably uh, edit the preferences now so you can do it or you can just click OK if you don't want to do it but let's do it and so all you got to do is copy this address just paste it in here and tick that little little box there and click OK and then click OK again and now we got it now we got our viewer okay so now if we kill it let's kill it close it so now when we open it up again it should just you don't have to do anything it should just automatically connect to the hack TV mini server so open it up I'm 
There it goes. She's off. She's connected. And that's that. So, let's uh, close that. Um, now, the viewer 1.0, I have not edited that one to auto-connect. It'll, it'll try, but you'll end up getting that error that everybody always emails me about. This error right here. So, to give out that error, if you want to use 1.0, most people don't. That's why I didn't edit it. You know, I didn't bother, but maybe I will at some point. Uh, anyways, to give out the error, it's just client... Uh, active and go and then now you're now you're um, connected um, so that's viewer 1.0 but like I said uh, not many people prefer this one so Bloop. closing that one get out of there we're out of there um, same thing, if you try to connect with some other viewer um, that hasn't been modified, uh, then it won't auto-connect. So let's just open up another uh, 2.5 viewer here. It'll try to connect. And uh, you, get that, you get that error. So that that was the I actually did this um, I don't know a couple years ago I just never implemented it in the uh, hackers edition. So let's let's open that back up again. So um, for example, uh, let's say you don't want to use the uh, this little program here uh, to reset the viewer like if you had it installed or used it previously and then you download the uh, hackers edition the new version um, and you don't want to reset then um, I tried to make it as simple as possible to get to the preferences so right here it says set up auto connect if you click on that and then set up it just brings you to the preferences where you can um, input that uh, address that I did earlier or you can just get to it the original way edit preferences but I wanted it I wanted to make it stand out so that people would would see it It'd be easier for people to find uh, you know especially if you've never used the viewer before you don't know where nothing is you know it's pretty easy set up auto connect you know okay that sounds cool um, so that's why I did that so that's that if you wanna let's uh, close this if you want to connect to another server because there's actually a couple s servers um, active right now um, you click on that you just hit the back button get that out of here you hit the back button as soon as it opens and it'll stop the auto connect thing and then you can connect to like Zefty's mini serve And there's also another server that um, is being worked on. I believe, um, I, I think it's going to be public at some point. I don't, I don't know, but um, if it ever is, I, I'll probably do an update and add it to the Connect setup. But uh, I think that with their server, I think they're going for like um, the original look of the Web TV server, whereas you know Zephy's got. You know his basic look here you just go in you do all the stuff that you got to do whether it's updating or um, you know you just want to go to some address or listen to some music or whatever and like my server for example uh, let me go here uh, here yeah my server for example mine's all like custom stuff I try to keep um, you know, similar web TV ish look, you know, but um, mine's all focused on like more custom type stuff, and uh, I like to focus on the games because I'm, I, I think they're cool. So the games, and you know, of course, downloading builds, and you can do all the important stuff too. Downloading builds, you can um, download the games separately if you want, and uh, uh, all that stuff. So, anyways, um, next thing. 
uh, that we should probably go over real quick is on the the viewer 2.5 the one that everybody's going to download the hackers edition it's already preset um, to connect to an account the accounts called hackers edition if for whatever reason you want to uh, make your own account um, you're gonna have to edit the viewer so let me just uh, open up here so basically the the easiest way to do it is just um, you're gonna want to use a program called win uh, win hex and I can leave a just a link in the description below for that as well so you open up WinHex and you just want to open up the viewer 2.5 in there and what you want to edit is uh, it's right up at the top so it's real easy to find what you want to edit is the uh, web tv client serial number so it starts here noob for life zero one so all you have to do is just be careful don't don't fuck with shit too much you want to be careful but you can be like you know poop for life you know oh one or poop for life you know oh two or you can change it to like whatever you want just you know keep the just so you don't screw anything up keep the um, the amount of letters and characters exactly the same I think there's 16 um, you know you can do less but then you gotta insert you gotta do shit so don't don't do that just keep the amount that's there the 16 come up with a 16 character uh, serial number of your own and then once you do that you would just you know save it file save as you know you can do um, in order for it to work with the launcher you want to keep it the original name but just for testing purposes you can just X save it and then uh, what the hell where did I uh, where was it there it is okay then just to make sure that it works you open it up we're gonna auto connect and we should get registration Let's see what happens yeah there we go so now we're at uh, now, now you're at registration and you can register your own account and do that so I think I think we went over everything uh, good enough uh, uh, if you have any questions just put them in the in the comments section man emails I don't know emails are I don't know if you have to email me email me but other put it in the comments section if you got any questions I'll try to answer them I'm getting old and senile now so maybe I won't be able to I, I don't know anyways thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful and that's it goodbye